Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will be taking you through all three levels of the Escalation Contract The Raphael Misadventure for the Isle of Skull. Uh, this Escalation was originally released for Hitman 2 obviously, but here is being played in the Hitman 3 game engine. For the first level you need to have with you a coin and that is about it. As you will have seen we start as a waiter at the bar and with the coin you just want to make sure that you chuck it uh, to distract the guard on the right who's not your target leaving only the guard on the left and wait until the lady who will eventually be the target in the second round has passed by you and has her back to you before you pull the portcullis chain which will eliminate your target. Then all that remains is to make your way to the exit. So this first level was relatively simple and I'm sure you will have easily worked out how to complete it. Uh, but there you go, I've, I've showed you how I did it. Uh, and now on to the slightly more complicated second and especially third levels. So now for the second stage, same starting location, but you need to bring with you not just a coin, although that is essential, but also something to open a locked door. I recommend the ICA crowbar because it doubles as a weapon, not that we use it as a melee weapon in this, and also the Krugermeyer pistol. Uh, you might be able to make use of other silenced pistols, but obviously the Krugermeyer has its advantages. So here we wait for the second target, this lady here, to pass by the two guards and to begin to turn her back away from us before we throw the coin to distract the guard on the right. Um, you will have seen that I did that earlier in the first run through, but it doesn't matter. The effect is much the same and we end up pulling this chain while everyone has their back to us, including importantly that lady there, um, just as we did in the first round to get that kill. Then it's straight up the stairs whilst the lady is still inside the building you're currently in. And you want to fire one shot at the wall behind these two guards here, which will get their backs turned to you and allow you to crowbar open that door there. And then once you're up here, you just need to wait for your second target to start. Like I say, it was important that we get to this stage while she's still inside the building because we now wait for her to exit and I found it's much easier to get her as she's exiting rather than on the loop as she enters the building. Wait until her little target icon on the map is just leaving the building and then shoot the gargoyle with the Krugermeyer and it should fall on her head. The timing is surprisingly easy. And then here we just need to wait because there's still a guard checking out uh, because she heard the sound of the door being crowbarred open. So just wait for her to go away. Um, in the immediate aftermath of crowbarring open the door, she may be suspicious if you go too close to her. So just be conscious of that. Wait, it takes barely a second and she'll move out of the way. Then we just need to make our way to an exit again. The only thing you need to be careful of here is that there are various guards who, because of their heightened alertness state or whatever, for whatever reason, will be enforcers who wouldn't have been previously, I don't think. Although maybe they're just different guards, I don't know. Um, but there we go. You, you can see I made it down to the exit easily enough. And that's the second level completed with our Silent Assassin rating. And so now on to the third level, again same starting location and you need to bring with you the same things. So just to make the timing work here, uh, I decided to do the whole shoot here to distract these two, then crowbar open the door thing at the start because you have a bit of dead time as you would have seen on the other runs. So might as well make that happen first, then get back down to do the coin distraction and kill on the first target just as we have done the other two times really the idea is use coin to distract right hand guard then as soon as everyone's got their back to you pull chain killing first guard so then straight back up the stairs where conveniently we will already have a crowbarred open door Now, making the shots that are required here is where it can all get a bit difficult, unduly so, really. Um, 
So the first thing we're waiting for for the third target is for the guy who's currently standing next to him to move away, which you'll see he's just done. And then we need to shoot one bullet just by the floodlight on the ground. Now, at the same time, we're tracking the second target from the second level. Uh, she is just beginning to maybe think about making her way out doors. So we need to keep an eye on that. But our third target has, because he's seen that bullet, walked under the thing that we need to drop on him, gibbet. Um, so then you'll see I get the, the third target and then the second target in quick succession. So you need to keep an eye on both of them being in the right location and you need to try and get your shots off quickly there, all the while being conscious that you can be seen up there. Um, you know, if people, if you have your gun drawn for too long and definitely if you're making shots from too close to the edge, you'll see I was crouching a little bit back from the edge. Um, certainly possible to be seen. And then of course, when you're making your way to the exit, just be conscious that there are guards who will be in a heightened state of alertness because two people have just died. But again, it's just about having some patience and being prudent as you pick your way past them. And you should eventually be able to make your way to the exit just as we have done the other times. So you'll see there are some, you know, it's slightly difficult timing. And I suppose the decision as to what equipment to bring was a little bit difficult. Uh, but overall, not the hardest of escalation contracts, but I thought a fun one, you know, it was just kind of the right size and length to be, you know, enjoyable, you know, didn't take me long at all uh, to, to go through those three levels, even with, you know, some experimenting as to methodology and, you know, trying to achieve a quick speed and everything didn't take too long. And sometimes you want that, you know, alongside the more substantive content, that's good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.